Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and our, our journey uh, through Charcoal Lane, uh, the album. Um, we'd like to talk today about um, the title track, Charcoal Lane, uh, the song and uh, what inspired uh, uh, that track. Charcoal Lane um, was a place we used to we used to frequent uh, just uh, in, in in Collingwood, um, behind the Cambridge Street uh, Primary School, and um, you know uh, I know there was uh, probably six or, or more. It all depends on the day, but usually about six six of us would end up in Charcoal Lane, uh, and you know, others that come along, stragglers that come along. And uh, sometimes you're up to 10. 10 people would be in charcoal lane uh, having a charge. Um, and I thought, yeah, you know, I just thought, you know, it'd be a good song to, uh, something, you know, a good song to, to sing and, and write about that particular uh, time of my life. Because uh, uh, I met family there. And uh, it, it was, a, it was a, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a good place, good. Probably one of our favourite spots to drink. There was other lanes as well, but Charcoal Lane was probably the, the, uh, where we frequented mostly. Uh, at the end of Charcoal Lane, there was a, uh, an old charcoal and briquette bagging factory where some of us worked sometimes just to get some money for a charge. So that, that's what inspired the song and about, you know, like um, how we'd all come together and, uh, and uh, what it took to get a drink and uh, you know um, rolling rolling uh, smokes rolling you know, uh, bumpers that we pick up in the street so so yeah did that just explaining uh, the song that's what it was about um, so I thought I'd yeah uh, it's just something I thought I'd write about oh well, gosh I wrote Charcoal Lane um, probably not long before we recorded actually the, the album Charcoal Lane, um, maybe a year or so before, two years maybe, in um, 88, 89, 88, when I started writing a lot of songs around uh, uh, the Bicentennial, but some of those songs were just, they had some protest songs, but some of them songs were also uh, about what we got up to. And, uh, Chuck Lane was a song about what we used to get up to uh, uh, back in the day and uh, with the old drinking school. Yeah. Well at first it was it was um, it was just brothers and uncles and and, and cousins. Uh, yeah, men that used to frequent um Charcoal Lane. Later on though it uh, it uh, <laughs> yeah, because Ruby being Ruby uh, she always, um, you know, um, always stood up to authority, uh, and that didn't matter who, whose authority that was. And uh, you know, she said, "Oh, let's go down the charcoal lane. I want to go see Archie." And and my sisters, Alma and Myrtle, said, "No, no, you can't. We can't do that. Uh, women don't go to charcoal lane. We, it's just all the it's, it's a men's drinking spot." And, and Ruby just looked at them and, you know, and said, well, I blow that. That's putting it mildly. And uh, <laughs> she said, I'm going down. And she started walking down towards Charcoal Lane and my sisters followed. And so I would come with you then. <laughs> and they fronted up in Charcoal Lane. And, uh, you know, and Lawrence was saying to our sisters, my brother Lawrence, he said, you girls know you're not supposed to be here. He said, yeah, we, we come down with Ruby. Ruby wanted to come down and see Archie. And he said, well, you sh didn't you tell her that, that, that women women um, can't come down? You're allowed here in Charcoal Lane. He said, yeah, we told her. And Lawrence looked at our sisters and looked at Ruby. Yeah. Then he started laughing. And... Uh, they came and all the men started looking, looking at me and looking at Lawrence and 
and wondering what's going on. And uh, and after a while, everybody relaxed, and after a few after a few drinks, you know, after a few, few swigs of the flagon or the quart, actually, um, you know, it was um, we just relaxed and uh, you know had a laugh and. Yeah, so that was when it changed. So next minute, you know, um, sister girls, sisters and aunties had started start coming down to Chalkai later as well. So yeah, um, Ruby Hunter, <laughs> bless her, she, 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 uh, she bucked the system. Uh, it didn't matter who it was, you know, the government, or, or the crew men that used to, used to you know, drink down charcoal lane. <laughs> well, look, there's, there's many stories we could tell you about charcoal lane, and, uh, and um, yeah, but we'll, we'll talk about that later on. Yeah, so 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 stay tuned. There's more to come. Thanks for joining us uh, um, tonight for this episode. Yeah, um, I hope you enjoy this, this this version of Charcoal Lane from the Recharge Festival that we did recently. And I'll catch you later. Yeah, Charcoal, Charcoal Lane, uh, the album, well, it's 30 years old this year. And... Um, we're going to start off with, with the title track, Charcoal Lane. <clears throat> Charcoal Lane was a place where we used to, uh, back in my drinking days, drinking alcohol, uh, we used to gather uh, and have a charge, as we called it, having a drink. Uh, it was just off Smith Street. Uh, Charcoal Lane, and that was called Charcoal Lane because at, at the end of the at laneway there was this uh, a briquette factory, and we used to bag people used to ba bag briquettes there, and some coal. So we we nicknamed it Charcoal Lane, and uh, uh, I met a lot of family there, and uh, as well as just having having a charge or having a drink. So yeah, so this this uh, this first song uh, is a title track of uh, of that album, Chuck Old Man. Side by side, we walk along to the end of. Gertrude Street And we top Paul and Master For a quart Of wine Thick or thin Right or wrong In the cold And in the heat We'd cross over Smith Street to the end Of the line And then we laugh and sing, do anything to take away the pain. We're trying to keep it down as it first went round in Chuck Old Lane. we spinning yarns and telling jokes, and the wine is tasting good. It's getting closer and closer to its end. Well, have a sip and roll some smokes. We'd smoke tailor maids if we could. But we just may do with some city street blend. And then we'd all chuck in. And we'd start to grin When we had enough to do it again 
But if things got tight, we had to fight with Coco Lane. So up Gertrude Street, we'd walk once more with just a few cents short. And we'd stop at the builders to see who we could see. And we'd bite around until we'd score a flagon of Mac Williams port. Just enough to take away our misery. And then we'd all get drunk Oh, so drunk and maybe a little insane. And we stagger home all alone. And the next day we do it again. Have a reviver in Taco Lane. Well, I'm a survivor. Oh, charcoal lane. Well, I'll pass the biscuits, please. <laughs>